In this video we will show you how to generate your ETH 2.0 staking keys without touching the command line. When you deposit your 32 ETH through the Ethereum Launchpad website, at a certain point you need to download their command line utility that generates your keys. For many people this is somewhat scary, because they don't really know how to work with command line tools. That's why Avado has created a convenient wizard to make these keys by using exactly the same tool that is used on the Launchpad, but wrapped in a simple to use UI. Let's take a look. Here we are connected to our Avado and we are in the Dapp Store. We have the beacon chain, we have the validator itself and next to it we have the key generator package. Let's go ahead and install this. Click the install button and the package will automatically be installed on your Avado. Remember that this package will run on your own hardware, within your own network and the connection between you and your box is fully encrypted. Next, we click on the configure package to open the wizard that will generate your keys. To generate your keys, the wizard will ask you a few questions. First, you need to fill in the password that will be used to encrypt your key store. You will need this password later on if you want to import your staking keys into validator. So choose a strong password. Then specify the amount of keys to generate. This is the amount of times you want to deposit 32 ETH. Then choose your mnemonic phrase language. Your mnemonic phrase is a set of words that allows you to recreate these keys. So it's very important to keep this information in a safe place. Then you press generate keys. Give it a few moments to do its work. Now the cute Rhino is ready and created this zip file for you, which you can now download. As I explained earlier, this package uses the official tool from the launchpad in the background. If you want to verify if everything went well, you can show a transcript of how the package ran the command and its output. The last step after downloading is to wipe these keys from the package permanently. Just click the reset button to do that. When we go back to the launchpad, you can now skip the whole CLI part, since you already generated your keys. If you simply open the zip file you downloaded earlier, you will find the deposit file in there. Drag that file into the deposit upload box and continue. Then you need to select how to fund your validator. I will choose MetaMask here. Click continue and agree to all disclaimer checkboxes to arrive at the grand finale. Deposit your 32 ETH. Just hit confirm there and you're done. Now we will show you how to set up ETH 2.0 staking. Go to the Dapp Store and scroll down until you find the Get Ethereum node. Click the button to go to the detail page and press install to install the package. Then go back to the Dapp Store and find the E2.0 validator package. Click the button of the validator package to go to the detail page and click the install button. It will now download and install both the validator and the beacon chain. Back on the home page you can see the status of the Ethereum chain that is syncing. Be aware that syncing the Ethereum node might take several days to complete. If you open the beacon chain package from the home page, you will also see the sync status of the beacon chain. The beacon chain should be synced in a couple of hours. While you wait until everything is synced up, you can already import your validator files so that they will auto activate when the chains are synced. To import validator files, you can go ahead and click the open button on the validator package. You will be presented with this nice disclaimer pointing out that you're responsible for your own actions. So let's agree to that and open the web dashboard. The next thing you'll need to do is import the validator wallet that you have created into the validator. Click the select wallet button and then browse files. And select the key store file that contains your validator key. The file name starts with key store. Click open. Next, fill out the password to unlock your key store. 
This is the same password that you used during the key generation process. Import slashing protection is only for previously used key stores. Select no there and press the continue button. The next step in this onboarding is to choose a password to encrypt your wallet itself inside the staking client. Choose a strong password here, write it down and store it together with your validator keys in a safe location. Press the continue button to go to the dashboard. There we can see that our validator is connected to our beacon chain. After you're done syncing, you can see the status of your validator in the middle of the screen. The validator that I'm showing here has been activated already. Yours might still show a red cross until it gets activated. The activation is done automatically when the deposit of your 32 ETH is processed and your validator has been activated. There is an activation queue for new validators, so you might have to wait some time, maybe even a day until your validator becomes activated. Congratulations, you're now staking on ETH 2.0. Take care and we'll see you in the next video. Keep posted for more updates. Bye!